Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy's coming at you guys with another video, man. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure you guys check out the links down below in the description. Follow me on Twitch at Jeremy's TV and follow me on Twitter at Real Jeremy's. And we're going to get straight into today's video, man. So, there has not been that much 2K news at all, if any. And literally, this has been like literally the worst rollout that they've had in terms of news in the past couple, like literally 10 years. Um, there's been no news and the game's literally coming out in like three weeks or so, something along those lines, three and a half weeks or whatever the case may be. And um, finally, 2K today dropped some news. I know I'm a little bit late on it, but I'm gonna still get to it and I'm just give y'all my personal thoughts on it. So first things first, they tweeted out Katie's overall, which is a 96. And I agree with that. Like guys a lot of people don't know that when it comes to overalls it's all about you know the all-around ability of the player so KD doesn't have any high high rated defensive stats nothing like that just because he's seven foot doesn't mean he's out there playing lockdown defense that's not how it goes you know what i'm saying because in that case you could just say dario Saric or any of those other big seven footers javel mcgee just because they're seven foot they're playing defense. no bro it doesn't work like that they're all not lockdowns and we all know kd is not a lockdown player man it's, it's annoying that people try to say 99 if you know how the 2k stats work you know that you are not going to get a 99 if you're not a literal all-around player you don't make any all defensive teams you don't get close to a defense player of the year you're not going to be a 99 that, that's just the god honest truth the only 99s in 2k history is it's been um chris paul kobe bryant kevin garnett lebron james shaquille o'neal shaquille o'neal was actually the only 100 overall in 2k history because of his pure dominance and ability to still play defense so yeah next up they put steph curry at 96 nothing with that why because obviously steph curry is steph curry but then again he's another guy he's not a lockdown defender he's not finishing in all defensive nba teams he just an all-time elite um hall of famer scoring guard you know what i'm saying all-time shooter so that's why he's a 96. next up we got middleton at an 88 Giannis at a 96 and middle or drew holiday at 85. now for middleton i don't have a problem with that i would have liked to see him be a 90 because knowing 2k they like to hype players up anytime they have some great performances in the playoffs they always get that extra nudge i don't know why they didn't give it to middleton i guess maybe more so because of his inconsistency because he's so inconsistent at times one minute he has a bad game Next minute, he's dropping 40 points, so maybe 89. I would say 89 would be better for Middleton, just just under 90. Giannis had a 96. I think he should have been at least a 97. We all know Giannis can literally do everything on the court, but consistently knock down shots. And it's funny how people criticize Giannis for not being able to knock down shots. They criticize his flaws, but they don't like to criticize anybody else's flaws. Like supposedly KD is this player that just has no flaws. It's, it's hilarious to me. But yeah, I think Giannis should definitely be a 97, especially after the whole finals performance that he's had. He should definitely be a 97, 98. I'm just going to say 97. Just, just because of the inconsistent jump shooting, outside scoring ability, I would say 97. Um, and I got nothing wrong with um, Holiday being at 85. Next up, we got the MVP, Nikola Jokic, at a 95, which is great because uh, great passer, great shooter, great post game, decent defense, some good rebounding. His defense is nothing spectacular. So, yeah, if he was like a really, really great defender, like a Joel Embiid, then maybe he'd be like a 96. But, then you know, you know, the defense doesn't make up for it. Next up, we got Dame Time, Dame Lillard at a 94 overall, which is good to me. On my own, got that much of a problem with it. Uh, you know, less efficient than Curry. Even though he can shoot just as good as Curry, in terms of, like, make those crazy shots, he's less efficient, and um, his defense is nothing crazy. So, 94 is good for game time, man. I don't got no problem with it, man. Um, we got LaMelo Ball at an 84. I think that's going to be, that's going to go up through, you know, throughout the season. I think he's going to have a big, you know, a big sophomore year. Um, he's very, very talented, man. Um, a lot of people didn't, think he was going to be able to do it before the season but you guys know how it is man once a player does good everybody gets on the bandwagon if there's a little bit of uncertainty everybody likes to say oh he's going to be trash so yeah shout out to mellow ball again at 84 jason tatum at a 90 uh yeah i don't got a problem with that maybe if they would have been able to have a nice playoff run i would say like a 91 or something but 90 is great jason Tatum's a good defensive player great offensive player nothing wrong with that we got zion williamson at an 89 and i like zion at an 89 just because um yeah, his inability of outside scoring and his, you know, he's not a crazy defender. So, yeah, 89 is just perfect for Zion. If you can get a little bit better defense 
and he could develop a jump shot over the course of his career he's gonna be in the 90s in no time we got trey young at 89 mm, i didn't really like this one too much i thought he should have been at least a 90 91 he had a great playoffs put up some great numbers i don't know why that didn't warrant him to be a 90 at least but i guess just the fact that his defense is just not good at all they're just like you know what 89 so i got no i ain't got that much of a problem with it next up so yeah the top 10 players is lebron at 1 96 kd at 2 96 Giannis at 3 96 curry at 4 96 so we got four guys that's all rated the same then we got Kawhi leonard at a 95 we got Nikola Jokic at a 95, Joel Embiid at a 95, Luka Doncic at a 94. That's disrespectful. I think Luka Doncic should be a 95, 96. At least a 95, man. He should definitely be a 95. Then we got James Harden, 94. Then we got Dame, 94. Those are the top 10 players. The top 10 three-point shooters, we got Steph Curry, number one, at a 99 rating. Klay Thompson, 95 rating. Joe Harris, 90 rating. Seth Curry, 90 rating. And Duncan Robinson, 90 rating. Next up, we got top dunkers, Zion Williamson. 97 dunk zach levine 95 dunk aaron gordon 95 dunk Derek jones jr 94 dunk ja morant with a 94 dunk that's crazy um crazy good i'm saying you know what i'm saying then we got some spanish top spanish players top french players i'll leave all the screenshots there as i say them so you guys can see them top german players um we got zach levine at an 87 uh which is you know cool maybe 88 would have been great uh demontis or I forgot how to say his name, but Sabonis, 86. We got the top ANZ players. I'm assuming that's Australian, New Zealand players. Then we got uh, some irrelevant player. Not, I ain't gonna do him like that. Steven Adams at a 79. So, yeah, guys, those are you know those were the, all the things that 2K dropped today. Not the news that we really want to hear, but it's news nonetheless. It's better than nothing, but it's still unacceptable that 2K is this deep. But at the same time, guys, we've been, you know, we've gone through a pandemic. You know, they've been working on the game from home. So, guys, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Y'all got to expect 2K22 to not just not be good, bro. Like, if they can, if 2K can pull this off and make the game be good, I'd be actually shocked. Like, I'm not going to lie. I would be shocked because they've been working from home. This is the first time in, like, 10 years that they have dropped minimal news, barely any news regarding to the game. So, it's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to believe that... They're going to end up dropping a product that's going to be great, especially since in past years in 2K, it's been a trend almost every year for the game to have bugs. And this is not even during a pandemic. So if there's no pandemic and they're just sitting there and they're um, making the game and it still had bugs. Imagine when there is a pandemic and they're still recovering from it and they're working from home. You know, all these things that are playing in. It's not looking good for 2K at all, bro. Like I told before, do not buy the game unless you are a YouTuber or a content creator or someone that's gonna give feedback. You could be not a content creator or a YouTuber, and if you're gonna play the game and actually continuously give feedback on Twitter, Facebook, anywhere that you're trying to give feedback, Twitter most importantly, but anywhere you're trying to give feedback, then it'd be great for you to get the game. So yeah, buy the game at your own risk. I say, be calm, wait to see, let YouTubers and streamers test it out and, and see if the game is good, see if it's worth you know spending your money on. If you're a 2K fanatic, you're gonna get it anyway. We all know the real, so. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, hit the noti bell. I'm going to try to look for more news, man, because at this point, we just got to go digging for it because there ain't much to talk about. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the noti bell, check out my Twitch and Twitter. Both links are down below in the description. But that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy, John Ranks, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh, uh -huh. Nobody's shooting like him. Gang, nobody's doing like him.